To be spontaneous as an actor, I think, is why we train to be actors. What all the methods and approaches of uh, acting techniques and acting methods are all about. And what does it mean to be spontaneous? It means to be fresh, alive, natural. It also means to be living in the moment. <laughs> you could say the power of now, actually. To be right in the present moment. That's what spontaneous means. Now, we can have that as a thought. I must bring spontaneity in my work. I must um, appear as if it's um, for the very first time. The danger with spontaneity is that we can connect or associate spontaneity with being natural or being real. Naturalism is a style or realism. And that's a great danger. So if we look at how we approach or what is the technique that allows us to be spontaneous without thinking I must be spontaneous, I must be spontaneous and so I have a line and I go because this is what people do that day and it's natural so I must do that so I have a line and I go um well you see um to be or mm, not to be oh, God. That, 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 that is the question so you see what I'm doing I'm making something which is quite formed, quite stylistic, into natural naturalism. So I feel that because I'm umming and ahhing, like I do in life, that it's, na that it's spontaneous. So that's why it's a great danger. So what, what does Michael Chekhov say about spontaneity? I can't think of an actual quote that I can talk about directly from To The Actor or from his other writings. But I know in working with it so many years, and working not only as a teacher but as an actor, and having toured it for over 35 years with Shakespeare and fairy tales, in all sorts of different situations, not necessarily a sort of typical theatre theater situation, a lot in schools, different um, locations, different um, atmospheres. So one has to build something very imaginative in the space and one has to be spontaneous as well. So what's the technique? The technique is to really look at the fundamental way is fundamental the right way? Right word? The way we take in the way we perceive looking out the way we comprehend something and bring it in. The way that when we bring something in, receive it, how that then affects our inner life, and how then how that affects our inner life, which is where our character, um, the character of the character, I mean, not our own character, sits. So that process, you could say, is rather like a lemnus skate. You know, that's the figure eight, like that, yeah? Figure eight is that, but it's on its side, a horizontal figure eight. So you can see there is a bringing in, a comprehending, a, um, I bring it in, I receive it, I comprehend it, and then my inner life is where my character sits. That character then actually gives it back to the world again, to the other character or or um, if it's a, a monologue or soliloquy to the audience. So we could say there's a there's a there's, there's a whole process of movement there. And that is receiving. We receive it into our inner life because we are sensitive beings and we have a psychology, we have a soul, we have a psyche, and it goes in. And because of who we are, we, mm, I'm not going to say react back, but we, we give it back to the world again. So if someone actually 
if I see someone coming in the room, let's use an extreme example. No, no, not extreme. Um, let's use a surprise example. Someone's coming in the room with a surprise for you, a birthday cake and it's a surprise birthday party, for example. So the door opens, you see the door opening, you see them coming in, but you're receiving it, you're breathing that in, yes? And as I breathe that in, you can see something happens to me, it's coming in, and then I go, oh God, you shouldn't have. Hmm? But depending on my character, I could breathe it in. This character really cannot actually accept anything um, as a measure of love or gratitude or anything. Immediately, he, he rejects it. So I go out, the door opens, the birthday, come, the birthday cake comes in, with someone holding it, of course, and unless it's a fantasy play, and I breathe that in, I receive it, I, I, I comprehend it, and then I, it comes in, I perceive it, and that changeover to, it was not necessary to do that. So you see where it comes in and changes over is where everything sits. And once we've got that, that's when the spontaneity, spontaneity comes. Otherwise, I short circuit. I leave out the changeover, yes, I bring it in, I receive it, and then I react back that way. I don't let it actually come in. And that, that other element, letting, letting it come in into that changeover, I call it the changeover, from receiving, changing over to giving. Otherwise all we do is, is we're reacting. Comes in, react, comes in. But now we want a pure action. I receive it and then it changes over and then I give it out and then I can really give it out. That process can be very quick, lightning quick, or I can take my time with that. Therefore I will have a pause and I can see the pause is really living. It's a, a pause that has so much substance in it. So that allows us working on that basic principle, receiving changing over and giving allows us to be spontaneous because that's the process that we're completely unconscious of in life. I think the way to train that and the way to practice it, there are, there are many different ways. The basic one to begin with is the ball exercise and those that have done workshops with me know how important and wonderful that is and how we can learn so much from it and we can learn about the principles, experience them, and get to know them and own those principles. So what is the principle with the ball? We throw the ball, and in that we have to judge the distance. The ball doesn't fall too short or go over the head of the person. We've actually judged, we've measured. Um, and the person catches it, they receive it, they then have to then give it back to you by going out through that process. And the process in the ball, by working with the ball, we're using our body. We're using movement. And it's through the movement with our body that we experience things. Movement without it coming into the body is a pure abstraction. You could say we have a movement of thought but that nevertheless has to be um, uh, physicalized, if that's the right word, um, brought into the instrument in movement to actually experience that principle. So we could say we throw the ball, the person receives it, they change over and then they give it back. We receive it, we change over, to give. So as we're now throwing the ball, we can say, if I'm catching the ball, I receive, I speak the lines now, I change over to give. I receive, I 
changeover to give. And that changeover is just as important as the giving and the receiving. In this world, we think the action is the most important thing. Yeah? But it's the receiving which is the most important thing. The listening, the taking in. And then the changeover is, is, is equally as important as the giving and the receiving. That's one way to train. And there's many different ways archetypally of throwing a ball. And it also, you thought to catch a ball or to throw a ball just took you. No, no, I say it takes two to tango, it takes two to throw a ball. And you can throw a ball in archetypally three different ways. Underarm, overarm, or straight. And within that, there's wonderful principles of styles of speech as well, dramatic, lyric, and epic. The other way is through the improvisation work, and that's really a wonderful way, because um, we tend to think too quickly, we don't really listen to what's been given to us, and we just blurt something out. But we really receive not only the line, the, the words, but those words have come out of a soul life of another person. And they're packed with emotion, feelings, thoughts, meanings, whatever, images. And that has to then be, it has to be taken in. And it has to go through this, uh, in a way it's like a sieve. Is that, <coughs> pardon me, is that the right way of, it goes through this whole other world and is processed and transformed and metamorphosed and then you give it out. So improvising um, is in the Chekhov technique um, is another wonderful way of practicing this.